everybody. I am Russ. He is Chris. It is Friday, Friday, Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah. All right. Let me just song. Uh huh. You just made it up. No, remember? Thank God it's Friday. Seventies. Uh, let me go on. Start. Was that the way it was saying? No, no, no. Thank God it's Friday, but I can't remember how the. Let me just go. It was in the seventies, so that's the topic I want to talk about. Is oh well, I was in. Getting in the single old. digits in the 70s, and you I, were I like was too. 20. I was, I was or yeah, I was close. Getting old. I had somebody ask, they sent me a deal and said, uh, said, I'm turning 39 and I'm getting depressed. Now, this was a girl. I'm turning 39 and I'm getting depressed. And I was, I just wanted to go, Must be single. Uh, I think, yeah, I think so. But, you don't, I don't mind getting old. I have no, I don't even, I don't, I'm not like, oh, dang, man, another year's coming. I, I look forward to it. You know, I think it's going to be fun. I don't look forward to 70 because you probably we're, we're so active. But I, I just, I don't see, I have watched these guys play in the, the, the 55-year-old guy, these guys that play older, and... If you stay active, you will not become decrepit. But here's the thing. My 42-year-old buddy can't run around the bases at 42. Ah, I just pull a hamstring every once in a while. But that's what I'm saying. But I mean, I'm not, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't bother me. But I'm, but I'm saying, if your body continues to not allow you to, when you're 60, you won't be playing. The doctors told you your ankles and stuff. Uh, yeah, but. That, you know. But see, that's the deal is, I don't mind. I, I, what I'm saying is I don't mind. I feel that my body is just going to keep going. Now, I, it won't be able to perform the way I did at 25. You know, I can hit and just jog down the first. But I believe the mind, I just don't mind. I look forward to getting older. I just, I, I go, you know what? People are like, oh, God, I'm almost 40. I go, dude, I'm almost 43. It don't bother, I mean... I, it, it don't, I don't, yeah, it, it don't bother you. It don't bother me either. Age don't bother me. I just, I don't want to get, I, I don't look forward to getting to that, that, that age to where I'm not self-sufficient. You know, we met a, a genuine gentleman yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Uh, Rappaport, you guys from uh, the Waco area probably have heard of the Rappaport Foundation, the Rappaport Academy, just... He does so much in the community. He does things everywhere. Yeah. You know, University of Texas. <clears throat> and this gentleman is 92 Two. years old. 92. You know, still walk, you know, in a walker, but... He was funny. Yeah. And he he's at work every day at 8. Yeah. And stays till 5. We don't even do that now. Yeah. But he was it. It was a it was a project done for what is uh, Javi's daughter's the, school, the Waco Montessori School. And they're doing a project, and they're doing a documentary, and they end up making a movie. And we got to be a part of, of the film crew and help shoot this uh, documentary part of it. Question to Mr. Rappaport, and it is amazing. I don't think does Central Texas know how many people are to here that are influential. In, in in today's in, in American society, I mean, he is good friends with Bill Clinton. He has pictures with Barack Obama. He has pr- pr- pictures with President Bush. I mean, he's every every president in that party. There's one picture of him on Air Force One. Yeah, playing cards with Bill Clinton. You, you it's like you know, him and the person. Queen of England. Yeah, and he he lives right here. Um, it was it was good, and he is an ambassador to education, big time. I mean, he he gives tons. Like he said, I I take the money I need and I give the rest away. Yeah, and he gives it away for to to, to for kids to go to school, to go to college. Even started his own school here. He just it was a fine gentleman. It was a great interview, and I I walked out of it going, God, that's I exactly get to right. work, you know. I didn't walk out of there going, God, I need to get to work at 8. I just said, man, I need to do more. It was really But good. I'll tell you what, I did walk out going, you know what? It, it's nice to know that we're doing the same thing that he's doing. Right. Just on a smaller scale Correct. when it comes to our uh, 
our, Chris, our I family. I exactly the same thing. And that's a big <clears throat> thing, guys. We are in the, we, we keep pushing this, we keep pushing this. Hopefully a lot of you guys have read the story about our family that's been on, it's just a synopsis, I believe, of as much as we know. But just a little bit, a little bit is going to make these guys have a great Christmas. We're going to turn a, you know, like my daddy say, turn your frown upside down. None of you guys, some of you do, but uh, I was going to say something. Some of you guys may have experienced tragedy, tragedy, tragedies in your life. <laughs> or tra- tragedies. Tragedies. Or in strategies. Tragedies. You, know, you guys might have. We haven't, you know. Uh, I've been blessed not to. And, and, and it's something that you just don't want to have to deal with, so we're going to try our best to not make these guys have to have a, a, a tough time at Christmas. No, we... we, we we're going to try to make it's going to be a party. Yeah. It, it's a time to uh, celebrate. And, and. Yeah, come down December 20th at 5 30. We set the time. 5 30, double, double day, dates. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday December Sunday. 20th. Is that this Sunday? No, next Sunday. Next Sunday, we're going to give the kids their Christmas, cre- uh, Christmas presents. They'll take some home to uh, unwrap like we did last year. We'll have some pizza, have a little flip mode around, running around. Here's the deal it. come eat, it's buffet night. I think it is. I know it is. It is now buffet night. It is buffet night at Double Dave, so that works out for everybody. And Double Dave's has some good pizza. Oh, yeah, ain't no doubt about that. Good pizza, good pizza. Now, we talked about getting old. You know, men are different from women, and, you know, we talked about giving. But it's Friday. It is Friday, and we don't make movies anymore, and we don't make TV anymore. Okay? Okay. What would you want to do? We do not make I, I can pick my dream job. Well, I mean, it can't be what I think it would be, but, I mean, it has to be something that... No, it wouldn't be that. So, no, not like... It has to be something you know you're, you could do right now. It all fell apart right now. Bam! What would you do? Well, I know I could flip burgers. Well, yeah, but that ain't, that ain't what you would... What would you pursue? Strive. What's your other passion? What would be your other passion besides this right here? Besides film and TV right now? Some, some sort of sport. Whether, whether it's get back into to soccer, working at some of the big clubs in Dallas, or uh, like your Dick Vitales and your, your recruiters. and yeah, Something with sports. You know, I, I, that's my passion. I, I enjoy sports. I love sports. I love seeing the kids grow through sports, so probably something like that. Okay. Mine would be fitness, of course, you know that. I would somehow try to incorporate, you know, like a, a life coach fitness type deal. And uh, I, I say that because I was watching The Biggest Loser, and they had a pound-for-pound pound challenge and all that. And I was wondering, what if somebody, because we're not going to do it, we just don't have the time, did a, I, I wish somebody out there would get, the, we would help by the, by talking about it. We could do a food drive or a uh, pound for pound challenge with uh, with kids. I'm a, I, I'm very upset that childhood obesity is, is on the rise here. And you know you, what? Go watch. Go watch our friend Jennifer, Dr. Javi's wife. Yep. Go to dailymoxie.com. That's M-O-X-I.com. And they did a deal with the children where they got them all running and yep. exercising. And there was one little girl in particular that just didn't want to be part of the group. 